One in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. So with Johnson on the bench, here's the five for Quinn Snyder right now. Hunter is out there with Hachimura. And it's Young. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Hawkes in at the small forward. Young drives in, and it's blocked. They get it back. They grab their own miss. Hunter. And finally, they hit one. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Some nice passing here by Indiana. And here's the fast break. Oh, that Ooh. was something else. <laughs> Have mercy. Between the legs, and he dunks it home. Something special happening on that one, guys. Oh, isn't that the truth? Deciding to give this crowd GA a show. The NBA, the best athletes in the world, and that is why it is a global game. That was beautiful. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it, because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Hawks have gone 50% from the field, hitting 3 of 6 since the opening tip. Here is something great from Pacers history. They were a dynasty at one point, and you remember it well. Yeah, you're talking about the ABA days, but it's true. The, the Pacers were a dominant team before the merger. They won three titles in four seasons just before joining the league. Benedict Matherin, he's checked in for Ananobi. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. Let's get excited. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Take a look at the Jets. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And I think for the Hawks, they've started the way we expected. Aggressive, relentless, just imposing their will upon lesser teams. Scooped up. Outside for Halliburton. Six to shoot. Here's Matherin, and he goes in for the dunk. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. That's how you drive your point home right there. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Well, we know that Tim Hardaway Jr. can space the floor. You don't want to allow him to start cooking. And hard to decide which is better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Hardaway, that's a two-pointer. Here's Hachimura. Oh. Oh. Hachimura. Not a bad show from Mr. Rui Hachimura. Get up and throw it down, young sir. Norbert. Guarded by Hardaway. Halliburton outside. Pass to Claxton. Crosses over. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Right here we are watching Claxton. Uh, who does he remind you of? You know, Kevin, defensively, he looks a lot like AD out there. Similar builds. And, and Claxton can also handle the ball a little bit. Just want to see if this guy can develop an ability to play facing up to the basket. Young passes to Hunter. In, coming off the assist from Young. Hunter's got six. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Pass to Halliburton. Now Claxton. Back to Halliburton. Over Young. Misses off the right eye. Here's the Hawks with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Picked away. Now, here is Halliburton. Defense right on him. Two minutes remaining. Right wing. Here's Norbert. Bangs home the trifecta. He's got five. This is why coaches love Tyrese Halliburton. Just plays the right way. And here's Young from the arc. He's now one for two with that bucket. For three. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. 
The shot's good from Halliburton. Well, that's not an easy finish. Defense an excellent contest. Halliburton looks like he's bottled up but comes away with a bucket. Knocks down the three ball. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Out left of the wing. Here's Tantley. Hunter grabs the miss. Hunter's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And it's Hunter with the jam. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Timeout called the Pacers. And the foul called on Tim Hardaway Jr. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. 41 seconds left to play in the first. Monk for three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Fabulous find by Darren Williams. What incredible vision. And Young kicks to Hachimura. A fadeaway. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. And this matchup with the Hawks, it's their first meeting of the season. And they're facing the team that dismissed them from the postseason last year. So certainly a little payback in mind. Just five to shoot. Here's Matherin. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First, Rui Hachimura. Picks one up. Yeah, lots of skill to contend with if you're guarding Benedict Matherin. It's not an easy cover. Matherin, two shots. Free throw, good. Matherin. Matherin hits them both. Yeah, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We'll return shortly. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and a chance to catch up on some numbers here scoring breakdown for Atlanta so far in this one guys it's been the shooting in particular from mid-range that has been huge for them and they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight really putting the work in down low we've got Darren Williams also Monk out there Benedict Matherin is out there with Barry and it's Dantley in at the power forward position so that's the group out there for Indiana. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. The Pacers are a team on the rise, and Tyrese Halliburton says one of the favorite parts about the way we're building the culture here is it's not just showing up for a game. That's it. We watch games, text about games, talk about games when we get to the arena. I just want to be around guys who love basketball and want to be great. Kevin? Isn't that special, David? Hey, thanks for that report. Outside Matherin. Here's Williams. Monk, the pass to Barrett. Down to five on the shot clock. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. And that one's good. Hunter. 
big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. That one falls. Yeah, how about the passing skills there of Williams? Solid at realizing when one of his guys has a good look. And it's Murray penetrating. And that one's good, Hunter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And early on, many rookies are not only getting playing time doors, some of them are the focal points of the team's offense. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a growing trend, especially for those teams that are in rebuilding mode. Heck, sometimes even the established teams are getting some big-time stars. For three, Murray. It's hauled in by Barry. Pacers trail by 11. Here's Cantley. Got a piece of it. Relentless defensive energy from Rui, able to outwork this man and send it back. Murray, good. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And Indiana making a change here. Indiana's gone three or four from long range in the game. Williams scanning the floor. Three-pointer. Atlanta with the rebound. Hunter's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Now the pass to Black. The Hawks working the ball around. Trains the three-pointer. Hachimura's got seven points. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Dantley. He's covered by Hachimura. Ananobi, good. What an answer from OG Ananobi delivering the three-point shot in response. Wow. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. While we have a moment, let's now take a look at the top shot blockers in the NBA. You take a look at Hunter. Fierce inside defender. Tops in the NBA in blocks. And, of course, Nicholas Claxton. A few spots down. Those two have both mastered the art of the shot block. And believe me, guys, it is an art. It's not all about size. Halliburton's checked in for Indiana. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Pass to Dantley. Got a hand on it. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hunter. Substitution for your Pacers. Curses. Darren Williams. Halliburton for three. Rebound Atlanta. Hunter's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. Norbert, it's blocked. Hachimura against Ananobi. Hunter for three, another three for Atlanta. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Inside to end the run, and Ananobi slams it in. Let's remember, this is six foot eight with some hops. OG Ananobi with the dunk. A nice shot by Black. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Pacers trail by 21. Kersey with a screen on Murray. One thirty-one left in the second quarter. Pocket six to the inside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Pacers have looked good at the line. Today. They're perfect in four attempts. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. The Hawks leading by 21. Pass to Hachimura. They get it back. Hunter, count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. First and there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working, hitting inside, and getting good shots from close range. The Atlanta shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. 
and they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. The Pacers making a switch here. Ananobi's checked in. It's deflected. They retain possession. Pass to Claxton, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Claxton's got six points. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. A three-pointer is right on target. Hachimura's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Hawks. Takes a step back. Here's Dantley. It's deflected. Credit the defense right there. They have not allowed this guy to get going at all in this period. Hawkes, the pass to Hunter, launches it. It's rebounded by Tyrese Halliburton. And Ananobi slams it in. A pretty pass from Tyrese Halliburton. You bought this guy running the show. And it's Hunter with the jam. Putting on a clinic this quarter. I mean, what a tremendous outburst scoring wise. And it's Halliburton missing. Murray outside. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. So as we conclude the first half, so far, fairly one-sided. It's Atlanta running away with it. Live from Gamebridge Fieldhouse, you're watching 2K Sports. And as we welcome you to halftime, no other way to say it, an abysmal start for the Indiana Pacers. Hey Shaq, when things weren't going your way on the court, did you ever take it out on any, oh, I don't know, bathroom fixtures of any sort? Never, what have you heard? I was a joy to coach. No, tell the truth. All right, sometimes bathrooms need renovation. That's all, you just gotta clear out all the stuff. Come on guys. Now let's talk about that first half. It's been a runaway success for the Atlanta Hawks. Well, I mean, it's easy to see why they're up big. They know how to use their size, their athleticism to wear their opponent down. And you look at their rebounding numbers. It's incredible. Showing a lot of this and this. Ooh. And another one. Whoa, you've been and working out. And two biceps at once. Wow. I'm tired. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And you know, Big Dog has been really making it happen, guys. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. Checking out the group for Quinn Snyder to start the second half. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Hunter is out there with Okongwu, and it's Johnson in at the three spot. Here's Halliburton, and Halliburton slams it in. We're talking about a guard who's got some bounce. Tyrese Halliburton with the hops. And Young kicks to Hunter, and he drives in, and Anobi sends it back. Here's Dantley. Johnson with the block. Young from outside. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Young's got nine. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Here's Halliburton. There is it from about 10 feet away. Great shooters trust their shooting motion. Tyrese Halliburton with the jumper. Here's Young. It's tipped. And they recover. Johnson for three. Another three for Atlanta. Off and running right off the bat here to start the second half. Halliburton is screen on Johnson. Here's Dantley. Scoreless thus far. Basket counts. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Young with no one around. 
Again, Young missing. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Norbert is guarded by Johnson. The pass to Claxton. Here's Tintley. No good from outside. Just can't find a shot. It's no wonder they're losing. I mean, he's been completely scoreless all night. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Now, last season, there were a record number of African-American head coaches in the NBA. Blazers coach Chauncey Billups said, it makes me proud of the NBA for being intentional about giving opportunities to African-Americans or just minorities, period. I'm proud to be a part of it. Kevin? Great stuff, David. Thank you so much for your reporting there. Halliburton outside. They set the pick from downtown. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. The intellect and skill that Halliburton brings to the game, such a high-level passer. Oh, Greg, there's a lot of impressive things about Tyrese Halliburton, most notably how efficient he is. Yeah, Kevin, those percentages are terrific. But not only that, he's phenomenal at it, making sure he keeps his teammates involved. Just a remarkable young point guard. Here's Murray. Here's Hunter. And it's Hunter with the jam. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. And they'll keep possession. Hunter grabs the miss. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Okongwu, that's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got three assists in the game. Young against Halliburton. They need this. The shot by Dentley, no good. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. He gets it in there. Johnson's got five points so far. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. And he gets it to go. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Young from outside, kept alive. Hunter passes to Okongwu. And Young kicks to Johnson. Misses the three. Indiana's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. They recover it. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. Substitution on the court. One oh seven left in the third quarter. And it's Halliburton missing. Atlanta has got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. Trills the three-pointer. He's got eight. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Catherine passes to Dantley. Lee pass was put in just the right spot. No issues on that one. Good work all around. And Young kicks to Hunter. Over Barry. And there's Hunter on the assist from Young. Young's got his sixth assist on the night. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Halliburton finds Williams. 18 feet out. That's tipped. Oh, and here comes Young all alone. In Atlanta again with the bucket. Uh, just a threat to score off the dribble. Young is crafty at assessing the defense and exploiting them. Dantley, and that one drops. Dantley's got four this quarter. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with a nice. Pass to Okongwu. That's tipped. Young from outside. Another three for Atlanta. Their ability, uh, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. The Hawks on top, opening up a huge gap. And 
How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, uh, and the rules might have helped some. But there is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and, and doing things we've just never seen before. We've got Ananobi. He's out there with Barry. Darren Williams out there with Benedict Bathroom. So that's the group out there for Indiana. The Pacers making a switch here. Mitchell's checked in. And so Ananobi will bring it up for the Pacers. Next step for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Young with the ball. Kicks it to Okongwu. Shoots over Ananobi. The shot by Okongwu, no good. And a wide open look for Matherin. Taps in the tray. Boy, a lot of confidence to Matherin's game. That efficiency has to get better, but he is not shy. Here's Johnson. Pacers with the rebound. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. And here we go. Murray heading to the hoop. And then Murray with the jam. Now, this requires elite-level athleticism. Murray just floating. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Indiana Pacers. On Friday, they'll host the New York Knicks. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Monks checked in for Indiana. Pass to Okongwu. On the wing, Johnson. And Mathering comes to help. And it's Hunter with the jam. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true hang time? You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. Over in the corner, Matherin. It's stolen by Johnson. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Hawks. I like their defense tonight, and we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. You can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Incredible athleticism from Murray. A combo guard with some serious elevation. Here's Williams. They can't stop the run with that one. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Ogongwu, it's deflected. On the wing, Williams. Down low. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Hunter, and it's Hunter with the jam. And, you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. And Halliburton slams it in. My goodness, what a triple drive by Mr. Tyrese Halliburton. Hunter with a screen on Williams. Young from outside. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. That's his fifth triple of the night. Two in the first half, three in this one. Huge production. Hawks have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. 
Williams passes to Dantley. 18 feet out. Off the left rim and out. And the foul called on OG and an OB. That's foul number two for him. On the court for the Pacers. Number 13, Johan. Atlanta's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Hits it from three-point range. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. And that one, good. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his wake. And Young kicks to Hunter. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Hawks. And he knocks down the first one. Taking two shots. And both free throws good for Hunter. Now the Pacers with possession here. There's the pass to Claxton. And here's Halliburton. Let's the three fly, and Indiana, another three. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Atlanta. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Big Dog. Well, I think his contribution clearly came at the defensive end, right? He came up with a bunch of huge steals. He was a menace all night long. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. That doesn't go either for Halliburton. Wide open look here for Murray. The basket good off the assist from Young. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Again, the Hawks score. And getting the shot he wanted. Murray loves it from in close. And so Atlanta takes this one by a big margin. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't eat home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Older, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Big Dog.